It's always very interesting when we have bands in here, the conversations prior to when we go on the air. Most of the time, not really very much that we can speak about actually on the air, unfortunately, but yeah. very happy to be joined by one of my favorite bands in here today. They are a great band. We, we have done such good work with these guys in the past, and they are back tonight to play a USO benefit at the pageant. Ladies and, gen- <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Chevelle back in St. Louis. How are you guys? Great. Yeah, we're on, yeah, we're on fire good. here. Thank you very much for coming in today. Really appreciate it. Uh, the show tonight is sold out, so if you don't have tickets... You can just buy from a scalper. Up front. Be fine. <laughs> Maybe yeah. so. And get Sneak your way in the back in door. Way. Sneak in the back like door. old times. How did it all come about with the USO? Uh, basically, they just kind of called us. We've had some really good uh, opportunities with the USO to do shows with them, and none of them have worked out. It's always been, hey, we want you to go do this show on a ship or somewhere, and we always say yes, and then they say, oh, the ship moved, <laughs> or or uh, there's I, war there now, or I break a knee or, or something, I, or Pete breaks no, a knee. Yeah. Yeah. So it never really worked out. So fortunately, this time it it has. That's cool, man. I I was talking about this on the air a little bit earlier, but a couple of years ago, um, we did a radiothon to benefit the USO of Missouri Mm. and raised just a ton of money. And the more that I talked to different soldiers, the more I got how important the USO really is to these men and women. You know, it gives them just a a really nice little escape sometimes when they're yeah. when they're mm-hmm. traveling a little piece of comfort you know and that's yeah. i can't imagine how important that is for those guys well it's important for yeah, us to imagine that you know as we do shows like this we find out more about it and why it is so important so it's great to be here and uh, i think there's going to be a lot of military tonight yeah man. we hope anyway we got to play get some don't we yeah. I thought we were doing it because you were going to dress up like Cher in the assless pants. <laughs> I'm wearing those underneath my jeans, so I'm prepared. Okay. Yes. That's the real reason. Yeah. She looked amazing. My butt is nothing near hers. Oh, well, come you, now. I oh, mean, thanks, buddy. I, you're just saying that. I mean, you, you always got to have something to strive for, though, man. You really He's hard do, on you know? <laughs> yeah. Her butt's up on her shoulders now. <laughs> I mean, she is. I mean, not that she. She is just an odd looking lady these days, man. I mean, I, I saw her the other day, and it was just like, wow, Cher. Yeah. Whoa. That's something to Google later. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Now, now we got to see what she looks like. <laughs> Share USO, assless pants. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking to the guys from Chevelle. You know, when we spoke, when I spoke to you last, um, you, you were excited about working on some new material. Can you uh, talk about kind of where you are in that process? Yeah. It's a good time. Is yeah. We, uh, we're in the, the demo process. We've got about, um, I don't know, between 10 and 15 strong, solid ideas. And we're just kind of playing them out right now, demoing them up, and about to start working with uh, our producer. So hopefully we start on time, November 15th, recording officially, and then we get it out in, like, March. So how is the – how does it work? You go in with the demo, and then the song kind of forms around that? Well, the demo is most of the song. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's in a state of sort of completion being the demo. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you have to demo it up. That way you, you can listen back and get a good idea where you're at. But, um, you know, pr- Joe Barisi, our producer, is badass. He comes in. He, there's little little tweaks, you know, like, you know, I don't want to go into what we do too much. It gets boring. But, um, yeah, I mean, he's amazing. And there's just little tweaks that make or break something. Maybe maybe like a you need a double chorus in this section or, you know, all that little little stuff yeah sure so and we hire a bunch of prostitutes to hang out in the studio to keep us busy you know with the stories and things like that make you look good too what we're interested in yeah you know we talk about new stuff you know you guys talk about going back in the studio when i mean is there a sort of a realistic time frame that you hope to you know get a new album to us whenever like if we record it's about three months after that roughly so yeah it's 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 not it seems like a long time but i guess it's really sort of yeah it's not it's not that long Unless we implode in the studio or everything, you know, everything goes pear shaped, which is possible. That's another because, Sam quote because right it, there. Yeah, and, and in uh, the studio, it's actually a vacuum. So explain how the vacuum works, Dean. They suck all the oxygen out, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then they they plug us in. <laughs> we get a couple chords and then pass out. Yes, yes, perfect. We, we wake up mad. We break up. 
as a band. We got it. It's a whole process recording. Oh, it really is. Boy, I mean, it's great. That's that sounds very tumultuous. <laughs> Oxygen <laughs> out, alcohol in. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's right. So, uh, again, tonight, Chevelle playing a sold-out show over at the pageant. Uh, you've got Brooke Royal, you've got Shaman's Harvest um, opening up the show as well for Chevelle, so it's going to be a, uh, a great night. So you work out in the studio here in, in November. You mm-hmm. probably get a little break for Christmas. When can we expect? I mean, because, you know, we love you here. You could come uh, back all the time, well, and, we'll and be, there would be no uh, complaints. Shucks. We'll be back on tour <laughs> probably in March, March, April. Yeah, we should be doing headlines and stuff then. Then You guys don't take extended periods of time off, do you? Well, we do. We just Not still really. have to like fill. We'll take a couple of weeks off and then do a show. We've yeah. had a great couple. Like, it's not It's not summer. metal to stay home. Ah. Yeah, it's true. We get soft. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Dean's elbows Pudgy's, heal. Like Sam and I just started knitting, and we call we call it uh, mm-hmm. Chicks with Sticks. Yes. <laughs> we started our own website. It's extreme. It's extreme it. knitting. It's full contact. Yeah. It's just, you know. I mean, that's what happens. I'll be darned. A lot of puncture The the craft beer belly is, (laughs) you know, starts to show, (laughs) you know. Yeah. Love it, though. Well, very cool. Well, guys, I mean, we really appreciate your time. And again, as I say, you know, I I say it as kind of a goof, but you are one of those bands that I firmly believe could come to our town every other month, and it wouldn't be a thing, man. Love it. Yeah, thank you. No problem at all. We'll do that. They say free. When you're 